hepatitis is characterized by inflammation of the liver. Hepatitis is caused by multiple different agents. The common agents include viruses. Viruses include hepatitis viruses like hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Among other causes of hepatitis include alcohol and drugs. So in India, if we see then hepatitis is caused commonly by hepatitis viruses that includes hepatitis A and hepatitis B. Hepatitis A is usually seen in children and hepatitis B is usually seen in adults. Apart from this, when we talk about the symptoms, then both hepatitis A and E cause acute hepatitis, whereas hepatitis B and C cause chronic hepatitis. If we talk about symptoms then, in the acute hepatitis, the most common presentation is the prodrome. Prodrome is characterized by fever, anorexia, body ache, malaise, and then this progresses on to develop jaundice in the form of yellowing of eyes and yellow color. This hepatitis, which is caused by hepatitis A and E viruses, is usually self-limited. That means the patient usually recovers in a span of around 3 to 4 weeks and thereafter does not get any long-term complications because of these hepatitis viruses. This is about hepatitis B and E. If we talk about chronic infections, then most of these patients do not have any symptoms. And if they have symptoms, then most of these symptoms are very vague symptoms like body ache, low grade fever and some of these patients are usually evaluated by doctors prior to their pre-surgical procedures when they are incidentally detected to have either hepatitis B or hepatitis C or during their screening programs for applications for visa for other foreign countries we detect hepatitis B and C or during antenatal checkup when a female is pregnant then these tests are advised and then they are incidentally detected. Symptoms as I said usually are not there and these are detected only by investigations that is blood investigation. So these chronic infections are usually asymptomatic and detected by blood detection tests or these patients sometimes a small fraction presents to us late with complications and complications include cirrhosis and its complications including bleeding from the esophagus development of ascites which we call as the stench of abdomen and patients may also go into altered sensorium and develop cancers in the liver. If we talk about treatment then yes for hepatitis A and E as I told they are self-limited diseases they don't need any kind of specific therapy in the form of drugs but if a patient has some fever some body ache then yes simple tablets like paracetamol can be taken which may give symptomatic relief Otherwise, these patients usually recover on their own. When we talk about hepatitis B and C, now we have got very good medicines which are available. That is, oral tablets are available for hepatitis C. And then, if we treat these patients for a duration of around 3 months, then almost 95% of these patients can be cured of hepatitis C. When we talk about hepatitis B, we have got drugs which are available in the form of tablets and injections. So, if we give these, then it can be controlled. Though we are still in the process of getting more drugs which will help us later in curing for hepatitis B if you have already an infection but we have got a very good vaccine which is available and if it is given gives you almost protection for almost up to say around 95 to 98 percent of patients and a simple vaccine can be given for three doses and protects both newborns and adults and it is now also been included in the universal immunization program so all newborns born now are being given these vaccinations and the purpose of this are what we want is that we need to spread more awareness among people yes these diseases are preventable if you get them you don't need to panic there are very good medicines which are available which can cure you almost like around 95 to 98 percent for hepatitis C and for hepatitis B there are drugs which can control this disease and prevent you from getting more complication whereas for hepatitis A and E you don't need any specific drugs but they usually get cured on their own with time.